They said Rahul Magan here is a chief executive officer of Treasury Consulting PT Limited, which is a Singaporean multinational group. And today we would be launching a fresh business domain for our company, which is custodian business. As you very well understand that after 10, 15 days, we are going to celebrate the first anniversary for our PPP business because one year ago we started PPP and maybe one month after that on 15th of July company would be celebrating the second year of uh, existence and that would be happening in Singapore. Now we are going to launching a topic which is not very much in sync in this world. Majority of the corporates do not use it. People do not aware about that. Neither they know. In India, the meaning of that, uh, in India, the custodian business is nothing but you will keep something in the banks. Example, when you talk from a custodian business, the mindset in the India is that you have some gold, you have silver, or might be you have some cash, which you will deposit in a bank in a locker, and bank will take care of that. So bank would be acting as a custodian. So once you go there, you will take, you will take it and you will come out of, you will take it and you will come to your home. This is what the meaning of custodian. But globally, if I tell you that the, that business is $100 trillion, so we have one business in which we are venturing into today, which is 2nd June 2018, whereby if I tell you the size of that business is $100 trillion, this is custody business. Custody is nothing but a BHC, a bank holding company, it could be a bank or it could be a non-banking custodian platform who will accept the securities alongside the cash or maybe both from a client and he will held it as a repository when it comes to security they will not show in their balance sheet because this is not theirs when it comes to the cash part they will show in the balance sheet as a liability and they are going to invest that cash in a triple A rated portfolio from where they are generating the money this is the definition of the custodian you will find in the in the books of uh, in the books or might be in the internet but custodian services are far far from far from bigger than that now we have reached to a level which is known as depot bank depot bank stands for depository sorry deport bank deport bank stands for depository bank it's a kind of sub custodian or a depository bank a custodian is having which will accept the, the, the custody of a relevant fund or a corporate. But anyways, we will discuss as the time would go on. Custody is the majority business of the globe. According to an estimate, more than $100 trillion worth of securities in the custody of the various custodian. When I start naming the various custodian, I have to start with the, with the few big names which are very much there. Example. BNY Mellon, Bank of New York Mellon, State Street, Citibank, BNP Paribas, Northern Trust, HSBC, JP Morgan, Goldman, and DBS Singapore. Of course, the list is endless. The list is not restricted here. The size of the board is quite small, but I am naming the top few. On the contrary, the custodians are divided into two parts on a broader note. One who are non-banking custodians and one who are banking custodians. Example, BNY Mellon, banking custodian, City. BNP Paribas, Northern Trust, HSBC, JP, Goldman, and DBS. Apart from one which is State Street. State Street is 225 years old setup. And they have approximately trillions and trillions of dollars of custody uh, the securities which they have. Exam In fact, they have their own deport bank also. One thing which, uh, which uh, basically define a non-banking custodian from a banking custodian is the SWIFT facility. Now, SWIFT is a very, very, very big topic. If I start speaking, it will take a lot of amount of time. But bank, but non-bank custodian like State Street are having a very good SWIFT facility. When it comes to the US and when it comes to the Federal Reserve, State Street is being categorized as BHC, Bank Holding Company. And they being treated like a bank because their size is more than $50 billion. So they being treated like a bank like Goldman Sachs, Credit Up, Goldman Sachs, City, JP Morgan and all. All the rules which apply to them, it will apply to State Street also. For more information, you can refer there for their uh, 10K, which is an annual report. On a sense, custodian divided into two parts, which is bank custody and non-bank custody. Generally, custodians offer two kind of services, which is 
investors uh, which is security account and which is cash which is which is cash account although when it comes to the you know uh, when it comes to uh, technical then they are offering two kind of services one is investment advisory and one is investment management if i if i speak from a from a custodian to whom i don't want to name one is investment advisory and one is investment management but in a layman term they are offering two kind of services one is securities account and cash account what is it exactly a custodian do who all the client of the custodians custodian clients are mutual funds hedge funds endowment funds alternative investment funds big corporates sub custodians csd central security depositories icst international central security depositories and respective i hope you heard about uh, heard about uh, the the largest reinsurer of the group which is prudential i'm not talking icic prudential i'm talking prudential <laughs> i hope that you heard about alternative investment funds i hope you heard about endowment the example let's take an example of a largest mutual fund of the globe vanguard what is the business model of vanguard vanguard is the largest mutual fund of the globe and vanguard takes a position in the trillions and trillions dollars of the security which they have let us take the largest hedge fund of the globe pimco pimco again take the position in huge amount of securities which they have in fact one of the one of the pimco's fund which is a total return fund which was actually set up by bill gross but now is not with pimco he is with james henderson it's more than 1 trillion dollar aum is more than 1 trillion dollar so when a mutual fund buy a security where he is going to held it ultimately he is an investor in that where he is going to held it he is going to held it in a custody account and the top few custodians which i name which is bnny bny mellon state state city bank bnp paribas northern trust hsbc and all in this they maintain two kind of relationship one relationship is a security account and one relationship they maintain is a cash account cash account in securities both are applicable to mutual fund example let's take an example of a vanguard vanguard is having 100 billion dollar of funds uh take it more they have 500 billion dollar of funds aum but for uh, custodian business there is auc a set under custody so for a mutual fund you refer aum a set under management for custodian for custodians you will refer and for sub custodians also you will refer a term called auc a set under custody now what happened vanguard having 500 billion dollars of security and uh, 500 billion dollar of cash which the investor has put into and they want their some portfolio manager to manage on behalf of vanguard on behalf of them by vanguard vanguard bought 400 billion dollars of security treasury bill treasury bonds treasury notes commercial papers certificate of deposit medium term notes long term notes mtn ltn and variety of that they end up okay let's take they bought 470 and 30 they left up with the cash now there are two things one is that the security which they have bought which is 470 billion is subject to some dividend of course that is why it is a mutual fund because they will distribute this dividend to their investors to who to from, from who basically invested the money this is subject to some corporate action example there is a split up there is a split down there is a you know uh, there is a fresh uh, there is a bonus issue there is a stock splits there are multiple there are multiple corporate action for example uh, uh, say tips treasury inflation protected securities here the government will give on the basis of the on the basis of the inflation index alternatively this is one thing the cash which they have vanguard can invest this cash in the bank now vanguard is the largest mutual fund of the globe so they would be having huge amount of banks in in, in their panel but what would if he wanted us wanted a bank custodian or maybe a non banking custodian which is state street whereby they state street is going to be holding 470 billion dollars of security on behalf of vanguard whereby they will take care of take care of the following things so when it comes to the 470 billion dollar of security the vanguard of vanguard state street and other custodians will take care of the following example custody product level accounting participant level accounting daily pricing administration master master trust master custody deposit bank which is depository bank record keeping cash management foreign exchange and brokerage 
you must be thinking from where the foreign exchange is coming in that but that we are going to discuss after few minutes few, few minutes of time there are retailers also that will come to custody and they will take a position now everybody is not vanguard everybody is not prudential who is the largest reinsurer of the group you have the largest hedge fund spimco you have the largest uh, mutual largest mutual fund vanguard you have retailers also who hold say 2 million dollar of security 3 million dollar of security 4 million they will come and they will take a position they will come and they will take a position also now they all are linked with fmu fmu stands for financial market utilities and two fmus which are pretty well known is cst central security depositories and icst international central security depositories now things are changing quite fast because with the implementation of uh, t2s target to securities in europe and with the implementation of the SEPA, it's being uh, now what used to happen that uh, custodians used to interact with, with sub custodians also. Example, take any custodian, he cannot be present everywhere in this world. So if he needs to speak with an investor who is at a far end of the globe, example, example some, some, some state of Scotland, example, uh, uh, some state of Scotland, example, uh, you know, uh, example at place where they actually not like just like a correspondent banking, so they will interact with the sub custodians also. But now with the implementation of the T2S, what is happening that sub custodians are, are, are basically they are facing a huge pressure and what's happening that custodians are also linking on a global platform at least in Europe, which is T2S, which is target to securities. You would surely be covering about that. Now there is one by one function which play a very important role of course which is a treasury function in our custodian. Treasury function take care of the securities daily, how much coming, how much going, what is the corporate action, OTTI available for sale, held till maturity, held for trading. They will take care, they will take care of how much cash I have, how much of the cash you invested, how much money you got, what is the triple A portfolio, everything. But out of the treasury we have one desk. Of course, we would be talking about securities in the next video. We have one desk which play a very important role, which is a foreign exchange desk. That is why we made it in a red. Now, how foreign exchange desk exactly working? Foreign exchange desk will make sure will take a position in foreign exchange. You must be thinking why custodian talking about foreign exchange. Take an example of State Street. State Street hold trillions and trillions dollars of custodian of custodian services. I am a Singaporean client. I want to talk to State Street US. What is the functional currency of State Street? Dollar. US. What is my function? Which, which currency I am giving custody? Singapore dollar. Make this situation more worse. I want to talk to State Street US and I have three different kind of securities. Sing dollar, Canadian dollar and Australian dollar. Functional currency of State Street US? Dollar. How many? The, the three form of currencies which they have? Sing dollar, US, Sing dollar, Canadian dollar and Aussie dollar. The foreign exchange have to come in the market and they have to take up a position accordingly so that the books should not be hit because of that. Foreign exchange play a very important role in a custodian business. Now, whom custodian interact? Custodian generally interacting with two people. One people custodians are interacting is directly with the client. Example, Vanguard, example, Prudential and others. Other custodians generally interact with the investment manager of the client like family offices we know that saudi is a very rich state in fact entire opec the entire entire petroleum belt is a very very rich state so they, there are people those who are holding the family office also in fact i consulting also entering into family office very soon and not far away just few months away this this dream now once you're entering into the family once you have a family office generally the owner of a family office who owns the wealth they don't speak with these people like custodians sub custodians icst portfolio manager they have a portfolio manager to who is on the board of that uh, family office who will interact custodians will refer them as a portfolio manager or investment manager so custodians interact with two people number one they interact with the directly with the client and secondly they interact via the investment manager last but not the least as you very well understand that custodians play a very important role in the world financial markets they hold several trillion dollars of securities and that's very very difficult now assume assume 
if you have a bank who have a locker and in this the the uh, say how many lockers you take it 100 200 500 the total amount of securities that the, the these the basically the monuments the locker having is 50000 crores you can very well see how much protection is required but what if these custodians are holding more than 100 trillion dollars of security and so they are subject to regulation these are the regulations which are applicable in the upcoming video we will talk about the regulations also from a custodian standpoint and from a non-custodian standpoint also which is basel 3 which is dot frank which is european market infrastructure regulation target 2 ai aifmd uktes and if it's second we feel a lot of broadly speaking to wind up this video custodians have these five domains which is safekeeping of assets, security lending, foreign exchange, settlement of security, asset servicing, corporate action and fund services. Last but not the least, custodians play a very important role in the financial market and they have to be, they are subject to huge regulation. Custodians like State Street are already being defined as BHC, Bank Holding Company. Every year Federal Reserve do CCAR which is capital which is nothing but a stress testing and uh, you know the state state is subject to stress testing a lot of custodians are, are, are subject to stress testing custody business right now facing a lot of challenge example the margins are getting down the regulations are increasing the MIFID second is you know what happened with MIFID second traders in fact I myself not happy the way it has been drafted but anyways 2nd January 2019 FRTB is on the way fundamental review of the trading book is on the way that would surely be hitting that there are a lot of things that would surely be hitting hitting the custodian business. Treasury consulting with this video entering into custody business. You very well understand that we have a private placement platform desk. You can very well see a private placement desk here. You just need to open uh, your mobile phone which are using Apple and all. In this you will open www.fixedincome.global. You will go there. You will get PPP desk. Here is our PPP desk. You can see that Treasury Consulting LLP PPP desk. Now we would be offering custody services in two ways. Number one, we would be taking the business of the custody whereby an independent investor could be a hedge fund, mutual fund, regulator, uh, retailer or anyone. He wanted to have a custody. Few things which I named here, few I not named. You just name the bank and we have a relationship with that bank, which is ANZ, Westpac. CAB, Goldman Sachs, Credit Suisse, Standard Chartered, UBS, you just, you just name it, State Street and all. We have a relationship with that. Another way we would be entering into custody business is via our PPP desk, whereby we will, we will let our client to have a custody here and via a soft facility, we will transfer to the funds to the platform. I know that majority of the people will not be able to understand it. But what ex exactly happens, like I told several times about the credit lines, what exactly happens if you do not have a credit line in place, you can create a synthetic credit line. One way is via monetizer and one way is via, custo via custodian. You can have the custodian, he can do the swift directly to the platform. That is also we would be covering. This is just the start of our custody business and there are a number of things which are on the way. In case you have any question, my email, Rahul.Magan at the rate treasuryconsulting.in My Skype Rahul5327 My platform www.fixedincome.global Website www.treasuryconsulting.in Mobile 9899242978 And our KPO number 011-401-99774 Thank you and have a great day ahead. Enjoy your day. This is Treasury Consulting. Thank you.